What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're in RPG Maker MV and this tutorial is going to be about calculating damage and uh, the, how the formula process works. So basically in a formula you'll see most of the standard, in, in VXAs you have like a quick formula option but you don't have that in MV so you might be confused, well how do I say how much damage I want? Well it's really simple, if you um, leave your mouse over the formula it gives you a little breakdown it gives you a paragraph of what you could read and tells you but I'll, I'll break it down simple for you guys if you want to take a stat that's from your character or the person who's using the skill you press a and then a dot and then you're saying the caster the a is the caster what stat okay we'll say the casters magic attack and they all have uh, all your stats have a uh, abbreviations like attack is ATK, agility is AGI and all that and magic attack is uh, MAT so we're saying the attackers magic attack times because this little asterisk means uh, multiplication um, we'll say four and then we'll, we're gonna also subtract minus the defenders or the target B is uh, B dot is gonna say the defender stat of uh, magic defense MDF so we'll say the a caster's magic attack times four minus the defender's magic defense times two, and that's going to be a standard calculation that's used in a lot of skills. But let's spice it up. Let's make it different. So what if we wanted to take um, a skill and use a variable to use to have the the damage will change over time depending on what um, items you give them that change skills or something well then how you call that is you press V and then you're gonna open up a bracket and then in the number you're gonna put the number of the variable that you're, that you're calling on so in this case we're gonna call on 7 because I've made a variable called Hadouken in this skill called Hadouken and we're gonna say and that's it basically it, we're saying the formula is the variable 7 with the variance and the variance means uh, a percentage up or down. So with 20% variance, if it's 1,000 damage, it'll be from 800 to 1,200 damage. If it was 100 damage, if the variable is 100, then it'll deliver an attack between 80 and 120. Criticals, yes or no, real simple. If you say yes, then you have there's a, a chance based on agility. And if you're using uh, Yanfly's uh, scripts that change the, the calculations a little bit, then uh, it might include luck as well and if you're using other scripts it might change it but it's based on agility and probably luck um, for uh, for most of the scripts and if it's if it calculates a critical then it's gonna triple the output so you can select if you want that yes or no um, let's take a, a little tester on this Hadouken skill um, where all we're doing is calling on a variable number seven so let's go into the game here and I've made um, uh, first, I'd like to show you guys this uh, this event. Only thing this event is doing is controlling the variables. If you want to create an item, I can show you how to do that too. Um, but if you wanted to put a control variable in an event um, at the end, like as in a reward for beating a boss or something, you're leveling up their skill, you just uh, insert new and then you'll go to control variables and then you select the variable that you want to control, in this case Hadouken. You said okay, and then you you can manipulate that variable however you like. You can add or subtract. In this case, we're just going to add a thousand. Excuse me. We're going to add a thousand. Yes. Sorry about that. So I've already done that. So um, we're going to delete that one right there. So when we talk to him, it's going to add a thousand to that Hadouken variable. So now we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll do a little play test to make sure that it's actually calculating the damage. So I've hit him, nothing happened because I didn't include a say or something, but we can debug. Um, if you open up your menu, you'll see there's a debug thing. And this shows you all the switches, and it lets you turn the switches on or off as you're debugging, debugging the game. It also shows you all the variables that you have. And you can see here we have Hadouken skilled uh, up to a level 1,000. So now we'll go ahead and start battle. Sorry, let's do battle. that's how you would call upon a variable um, easy way to to make a unique skill you could even uh, make go further with this and you can say the variable minus uh, the defender or targets um, defense um, plus their defenders magic defense and then you could even say uh, their magic defense times two 
and how if you don't know how algebra works, I'm sure most of you are like, duh, we know, but it's going to calculate uh, multiplication and division before the addition. So it's not going to multiply both of these numbers. It's going to uh, multiply the magic defense times two, and then it's going to add the defense on top of that. And that's how you can uh, make different skills. Now let's go to items. And how could we create an item that um, awards, um, like, say we want to give the character items or have them drop on creatures that can increase that skill level. We'll just call it skill up item because that's I'm super creative. And we'll give it any graphic you want. Um, we're going to make it consumable and we're going to have it say, it doesn't really matter if you say all allies are one ally because it's a variable unless you specify uh, this variable is for this person or not. But we're just going to say all allies. And what we're going to do is we're going to call on a common event. So we'll apply that but then we're going to go to common events. And we're going to go down to the bottom and change maximum if you need to to make space with the free slot. Right click in a, in a common event, control variables, and then go to the skill that you want to raise. Hit OK. So we're selecting 7 again. And we're basically just going to add however much you want. In this case, we'll say 5. Or, you know, we'll say 25 because it's going to be a pretty good item. So uh, when we call on this common event, we're going to call it Hadouken plus 25 and we call upon this common event, it's going to control that variable and add 25 to it. So then we go back to our items, and now we're going to go to the effects, right click and edit, and we're going to go to other, and then go to common event, and then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom where we see Hadouken plus 25, the common event we just created, hit OK. So now, um, let's test it. We'll go ahead and create a new treasure chest, and in this treasure chest we're going to get the item, uh, what did we call it? Um, did I create that on items or did I create it as an armor or something? It tells me I created it. No, it's items. Okay, skill up item at the bottom. It's set to potion, but we're going to change that to skill up item. It's funny. Where is it at? Somewhere in here. I have so many. Here it is, skill up item. Just got too many items I've created. Okay, and uh, it's going to tell us we found a potion. It doesn't matter. Uh, and V has a few like de clicking bugs still that's bothering me. You found a skill up item. All right, and then we can go ahead and save that. And we're going to test to see if the common event call works. So we'll go to new game. We're gonna go to the chest. You found the skill up item. All right. First, we'll check our our skill should be zero because we didn't change it, right? See Hadouken, uh, the seventh variable is zero. So we'll go to our items, and then we'll go skill up item, and we're gonna use it. Okay, use the item. Let's go to debug and see if it changed it. There it is. Hadouken is now level 25. So that's how you can uh, create an item or award uh, bonus to a player. Now, if you wanted to do like a boss fight or something. You can award uh, the same way. You would uh, insert new and you'd go battle processing. And then the battle processing, whatever the boss is, a couple of ice slimes. And then after the battle, you can say control variables, Hadouken, blah, 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 however much you want to increase it. And then say uh, for beating the boss, this boss, you gained Hadouken plus 1,000 or however you want. You guys get the idea. So when you talk to this NPC, a battle will start, and then after the battle's over, you'll get the skill, and then it'll tell you you got the skill, and then it'll affect the skill that you've created. So as you beat the boss, your your moves get stronger. So you can use this in sort of like a like an absorption type way. I've got a lot of ideas like uh, you can uh, beat creatures and then s take their powers like Mega Man or something. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm, this video is going on too long. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like this video. And I really appreciate you guys, all of you guys. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave it a comment in the bottom. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.